pen and you see this on social media and everything they post on there they're like i quit my job today i'm going to be an entrepreneur right hundreds and thousands of people like that right well guess what as soon as you walk away from a w2 job you lose all of your ability for the bank money you lose all your ability to borrow the yep. cheapest capital on the street that long-term money for the burr strategy people yep. quit their job to do real estate but you shot yourself in the foot by quitting so welcome to the bigger pockets best deal ever show i'm your lovable host ken corsini who with my wife anita have flipped over 800 houses in atlanta since 2005 and even have a show on hgtv but this show isn't about us it's about all the amazing real estate investors out there that are crushing it. It's about their stories, their best deals, how they sourced them, how they funded them, and what we can learn from their experiences. This is the best deal ever show. Hey, Bigger Pockets community, before we jump into this video, I want you to take two seconds and go to biggerpockets.com forward slash best deals to reserve your copy of my new book, Profit Like the Pros. Between the bonuses we're giving away and the content in the book, I promise you will not be disappointed. Again, biggerpockets.com forward slash best deals. Hey, this is Ken Corsini with the Best Deal Ever Show. On today's episode, I am joined by my main man, Dave Payerchin. Let's Dave, go. Let's do let's this. Go. With the stash and the American flag behind them. I love it. USA, baby. All the way. <laughs> That's hilarious. Absolutely. All right. So tell everybody where you're located, my man. All right, man. Thank you very much for having me, Ken. We go way back, by the way, everybody. Ken Corsini is a awesome guy. I work uh, a little bit with his wife behind the scenes. They have a nonprofit, Rockstar Kids, and uh, we're both members of the Collective Genius Mastermind, Ken right. and and, uh, and Anita, for a long time. Thank you for having me. And I'm out of the Columbus, Ohio market, um, primarily single family. We've done a ton of turnkey deals, tons of wholesale deals. We did 136 deals last year. Wow. Um, nice. So we're rocking and rolling, man. We, we do it all from buy and hold. I really want to focus on buy and hold. That is the, the MO because I'm sure a lot of your listeners will agree. We've got to be building wealth. If all we do is flip our way to, uh, you know, Instagram likes, yeah. it's not going to pay us later on down the road. So I use flipping as a tool to build a portfolio. We have uh, a decent sized portfolio and it continues to grow every single month. We're buying houses. I'll tell you what, too, you are in maybe one of the best markets to do that, too, right? Yeah. Columbus, I mean, it's super affordable, lots of inventory. I mean, what's like your average buy, buy point right now? Well, that's, that's a great question, and uh, it is all about the Burr strategy, and I think a lot of people should be doing this because we're in a unique time where bank financing is cheap, and we want to tie up as much low-interest, long-term money as we possibly can to sure. build wealth. And if you can do that and secure that type of financing while pulling out tax-free money and creating a positive monthly cash flow, it is the absolute way to build wealth. You just need to be able to sustain the portfolio once you get it going. So you got to know a thing or two about rehab and property management. But yep. if you can do that, we're in a very unique time where bank financing is readily available. So what we do, Ken, is target properties that will allow us for the maximum LTV refi. We want to pull as much tax-free money out on a deal as we possibly can. So we tailor our marketing. What we go after uh, is, is pretty much what the bank's like. We want to be ARV between 100 and 150. Okay. okay. Yeah. Perfect. Below 100K, it gets a little dicey because the minimum loan amount for a bank is 50K. You know, max LTV is 75. There, it puts you in the in the kind of C class. So we want to be over 100 and under 150 because after 150, the rents stop keeping up with right. the value and it affects your LTV. So that's where we like to play. It gets us the, the max refi and max cash flow. So in Columbus, what, what is that? What does that buy you a house where you're maybe all in at 100, 125 with an ARV in the 150 range? You know, uh, it, it depends a little bit, but you're going to get a solid bread and butter, three bedroom, one bath, one car garage, fenced in backyard, uh, you know, thousand square feet with a basement, probably unfinished. That's what okay. you're that's, that's a pro. That's our product. In a, in a decent part of town, like low decent. crime. Yeah. It's gonna, yeah. Blue I collar. Mean, it, it, Exactly. Blue collar people are working, you know, and um, you, you don't see war zones, you don't see broken down cars or anything like that. Um, but it's it's not, you know, the Taj Mahal, you don't want to be in the in the best neighborhood because you can't cash flow in that neighborhood. Right. right. right? 
Um, so just bread and butter. Uh, the banks like it. We have no problem getting our appraisals in, um, yeah. which is important. So, you know, I always tell people, and you know this very well, you've been around doing deals for a long time. You know, sometimes the lower end stuff looks the best on paper, yeah. but what's your exit strategy? I mean, right. it's, it's tough to get long-term financing on it and it's, it's typically a, a headache. So we want to be you know, above that, but below, um, you know, the, the ritzy area where we can't cash flow. It's That's all right. Cash flow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, and so if you're doing a lot of these burst strategies, what are you using for bank financing? Is like a local or regional bank or like a, just a traditional lender? Well, there is a ton of money out there and I want all of your viewers and listeners to know, uh, and I just went to IMN and, uh, we have, you know, uh, John Burns speak at CG top economist. There's tons of bank money on the street right now. So get it from wherever. Everybody has money right now. Yeah. Everybody's got bank. So just if you're listening to this, just get the best deal. You have the leverage, especially if you have a portfolio of homes, because that's what we do. We package these things together, Ken, yeah. take it down to the bank. So what you want to do, uh, don't worry too much about origination fee. Yeah. You know, you're going to pay like a point. If you can pay less than a point, that's okay on your refis, everybody. Yeah. And uh, just, you know, try to get a, uh, a fixed rate for a long term, yep. you know, um, a lot of people are doing five one arms and stuff like that, or they'll do like a 20 year am. But if you could just lock in like five and a half percent money, a solid 30 year fix and yep. get 75 percent or more on a cash out refi, just lock that money in and set it and forget it. And you will all be very thankful. Yep. Uh, you know, that's your retirement. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yep. I yeah. think that's a good point that you made. A lot of those products out there are have the arms, the five, seven year arms. If you can get a 30 year arm and just lock it in and not sort of set it and forget it, not worry about having to refi out in a couple of years. That's the way to do it. It's very possible too. So there's, there's cheap money out there. I mean, we're getting 5% money from banks, local banks, everybody's got money. That's the point I'm making. And uh, just get the best deal for you. You have the leverage. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So you've done a ton of deals. I know in Columbus over the years, you've done a ton of turnkey, you've wholesaled a lot. You're obviously buying and holding now. Let's talk about your best deal. What's the one that stands out to you as your best deal ever? The best deal is anyone that I can basically use none of my own money, which is basically sure. every deal. Yep. And I mean, it's hard to say the best deal. Quite honestly, the best deal happened last year and it happened. We had an ISA, an internal sales agent who was supposed to be answering the phones, didn't answer the phone. I listened to the voicemail message. It was a motivated seller, got her on the phone, uh, closed it over the phone, it, put it in contract for 30 and sold it. I made $120,000 on a wholesale deal last year. I was at CG when it happened. I signed the docs. It's posted. Go on my Facebook. Yeah. No, 120 G's by returning a voicemail. If you're out there marketing and you're in the, if you're targeting off market, you know, direct to seller marketing, answer the phone. I don't care. Yeah. Don't you, we're not too cool for school. I don't mind sending a seller's call right to my cell phone. I'll take that thing down today and make money. It's, it's not about, oh, I'm this business owner. I'm too, I, you know, I, I can't right. answer the phone. Pick up the phone. Um, that's, that's my message. I'll keep that as the deal, right? Yeah, I mean, right. It's, it's, yeah, I made 120 Gs on a wholesale deal last year. On a wholesale deal that you took down for 30, 30K and you turn around and wholesale it for Buck 150. 50. <laughs> yeah, on. yeah. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. And oh my gosh. next month I did another one for 70. Like we do a lot of little, you know, singles and doubles, but yeah. I mean, if you can make that much money that fast, yeah. I'll, I'll call that my best deal. That's the highest ROI ever. Easiest money ever made, right? Easy money. But what I would say to everybody who's viewing and whatnot, hey, you go after the flips. You gotta, you gotta eat. You can't eat equity, but make sure you're building that single family portfolio or any portfolio. A lot of people are chasing commercial right now, yeah. and people are buying at ridiculously low cap rates. There's still great opportunities in single family, and you can still get commercial financing. You can still do the same game yeah. as everybody's chasing commercial. Don't uh, don't overlook single family. I, I agree, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Well, let's die. Let's let's dissect maybe one of your bur deals. Is there a deal here recently Perfect. that like it's like the, the quintessential bur deal? Absolutely. So, and I'm going to share the pictures and everything. Nice yep. before and after. Uh, this lady, motivated seller, down in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm in Columbus, Ohio. This call came right to my cell phone. Super motivated. I could tell she was motivated. She was in town, staying over at the Days Inn. I was in Westerville. She was out in Grove City. If you happen to know uh, Columbus, Ohio, Central Ohio area, so I was all the way across town. I called somebody from our title company and they drove on over there and uh, put it in contract for me. Um, so basically we bought it for 60. 
How did, nice how did she day. how did she find you? If she's she from Knoxville. SEO. SEO. Really? SEO. I'm Ooh, big on nice. SEO and for all the viewers and uh, you know, listeners out there, go to my website, sellhousecolumbus.com. Give me a five-star review. And if you give me a backlink, if you email me and tell me that uh, you know, you you gave me a backlink on your site. I'll return the favor, and I'll give you all my paperwork that I use for subject two deals. More, I, you know, that's what I want to share with your people. Nice. Um, but this particular uh, deal is she found us online. We hover right at the top of Google because we take it seriously, and I think everybody should. Uh, bought it for sixty. We put thirty into it, so we're all in for roughly ninety. Obviously, there's cost of money. House is worth one fifty. Solid area. This is your your. Uh, Typical like American homes for rent kind of deal, you yep, know, like right. nicer area built in the 90s, uh, you know, good old suburban uh, home and worth 150. We're all, all in for 90, maybe a little more. And ARV is 150. So what is the max LTV the banks typically want to give? 75%. So sure. 75% of that is roughly 112 um essentially what we're going to do is pull out 20k tax free money okay and put a solid 30 year mortgage on there keep this thing cash flow for a long long time great house great area let the tenants pay this thing off and then we're going to depreciate this house against uh, our wholesale deals in the future and this is this is the real estate business guys that's so that's a great deal right there that's the quintessential burr in like two minutes. That was the yeah, fastest, fastest burr ever. Hey, hey, and then, and then I throw it in the food. Hey, it don't, make sure you uh, don't forget to uh, depreciate this against your future wholesale deals. Right, exactly. Hey, say, what, what, did, what did he just say? Oh, I, <laughs> do, yeah, depreciate yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right. So, so I will slow it down for just a second. So SEO, for those of you that aren't doing it, 100% pays off. It's, I mean, it's sort of the long game, right? You put a little bit of time and effort into it. You get calls, and those are darn good motivated calls. They're filling out a form on your website saying, I need to sell a house. Are those not the best leads you can get? I think they're the best leads. Yeah. They're phenomenal. Yeah. If somebody's on the internet searching to sell their house, that's way better than somebody responding to a postcard, in my opinion. The other oh. cool thing that you did is same day, you, went, you actually sent somebody from your title company to put it under contract? Got to. That's Anyone. amazing. No, so I, so I, I've never done – I mean, now we've sent our, our internal people over, but – you send somebody from the title department with the contract and they just get it signed and notarized for you. Let me give a little shout out. PM title here in uh, central Ohio, PM title. They do a great job working with them for years. And you know, I got all their cell phone numbers. They want to be successful. They take care of me. So uh, one of their representatives, I sent them an email. So I was all the way across town. Didn't want to lose it. Got to act fast. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, went over, got it signed for me, took it right down to the title company, funded this sucker. And that was it. What do they charge for that service? They didn't charge me anything to send one of their folks over to get a signature for you. No, that's just a, a perk. You know, they, they take care of me and we, nice. we take care, we've, we've been around, we've grown together. You know, yeah. they're a great, great company. So you took it down, probably closed in two weeks or something like that. What it, it, I'm assuming private money. Yes. Private you, money. Yep. That's what we do. We borrow from private lenders and you know, a lot of people who want to be in real estate, people on bigger pockets, people on the real estate groups and whatnot, they are interested in real estate. They want to do real estate, but maybe they don't. They have a full time job. Maybe they don't have the marketing machine. So a lot of people, uh, you know, just want to be a lender. So we work with private lenders all the time. And if anyone out there, maybe you want to be a lender, let me know because we're always borrowing uh, private money and doing deals with people. Uh, it allows us to act fast, and the lender gets a great ROI. Yeah, what do you pay your lenders? Just curious. How do you structure as them? As cheap as possible. I ain't saying some number. Yeah, as low as I, I possibly <laughs> can. But you know how it is. And if you're first, here's, here's the thing. You got to pay to play. When you're first getting started, RJ and I used to pay 12%, three points, and give up 50% of the equity. Wow. I mean, it's just, it's, that's, that's rich. You know yeah, what that, crazy. the name of that loan is? Break your it's, legs loan, man. It's the work, yeah, it's the work for free loan. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's right. no money. Yeah, there's like, nothing left. You work and work and work and work, and it feels like you're making money, and it feels like you're in business, but you don't have any money. Yeah. So um, basically, at, when you're first getting started, you've got to pay to play. Expect to pay yeah. high amounts. As you build a track record, and as you build relationships, and you know, people, you know, you're providing a good value to people who want to grow their money, um, the cost of money will come down. So 
uh, I think our cheapest money out there is, is actually around 6%, you know? Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, we don't have a plethora of that. I mean, I wish I did. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, we, we pay as little as possible, but still take care of our lenders. We, we have lenders, Ken, that we've been working with for ever. For, yeah. You know, since the yeah well, once they start seeing a return and it's coming back, it's like, why wouldn't they keep doing it? That's why most private exactly. lenders keep doing it. Exactly. That's amazing. So you got that under contract, bought it with private money, put the money into fixing it, 30 grand. What, how far did 30 grand go? I mean, a house like that, it's cosmetic. No, well, you know what? And that is, people are going to see the before and after pictures and they're going to say, how the heck did you do all that for 30K? I will be upfront with you. We had a lot of materials and stuff from another job that didn't, you know, and yep, uh, yep. we were able to, to roll a lot over there and keep the cost down. You're going to see a pretty, pretty massive rehab, brand new roof. I mean, there was like a caved in ceiling, like from water and this place was disgusting. I'm not kidding. Um, it was just crawling with bugs. I'm not like roach trails, you know, just like you can see the oh, roaches. It was like brown trim everywhere. Um, and uh, it was pretty, pretty disgusting. So we made 30K stretch pretty far, but we did have a little help because we had a whole bunch of supplies and stuff yeah. from a yeah. different deal. Well, yeah. and that's why, again, I think that's a good point too. That's why if you're rehabbing a lot of houses, use the same fixtures, finishes, or colors, flooring because you just move it from house to house to house you always have leftover material right absolutely yeah and then if you're keeping it as a rental you know the material that's in there so if you got to touch up paint you know what it is absolutely it's the same yep. everywhere yeah same everywhere so finish that and then how much did this place end up renting for it rents for well well that's a great question man um i do i can't answer that i think it's 1450 1450 i uh, yeah I'm, it's definitely up there okay it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely up there, around 1400, uh, 1400 1500 And you're you're only in the dumb thing for 900 So already, those are phenomenal numbers, man. 900 getting 14 well, I mean, I'm yeah, sorry, 90 in, You're in it for 90 90, 90. Yeah, exactly, 90 exactly. Getting... So, yeah, so on the 90 we're going to be paying, you know, 10% uh, on that money, yep. okay? So the lender funded, we're all in for 90 So even at 10% on 90 our payment's probably like seven something a month, you know? Um, right, right. And Although if you're pulling money out though, your loan's probably at the higher amount. Is your loan at the 112 mark? I bet it is. It is. But before we before the refi happens, we still have that 90 loan in place that we're going to pay monthly payments right. on. Right. I got you. So the lender's getting their return. And then we take it down to the bank and the bank comes in with a loan for 112, 500. Yep. Right. And um, basically pays off our lender, their 90K. Yep. Right. And then the leftover money in this case, which is like 20K, 22K. Yep. yep, um, yep. That goes right into our, the HIP National Bank. Is what I like to call <laughs> right. that. And that's tax free. Tax everybody. free, folks. Tax free. That's a beautiful it's thing. It's a loan. It's not income. Everybody says, how is it tax free? It's not income. It's, it's not a income. Loan. That's right. It's like borrowing equity against your house, right? You don't pay money when you borrow equity against your house. It's just borrowing equity against your house. The only difference when you're borrowing equity against your house, you're paying it back when it's against an investment property, the tenant's paying it back. Good point. Yeah. You know and it's still a good deal. That's the thing. At 112, that's still a darn good deal if you're getting 14 50 in rent. So who cares? With Take that 20000 out and put it in your hip, man, right? That's what I'm talking about. That's, yeah, that's, that's a good deal right there. You've done a ton of deals. Obviously, you've kind of figured out this Burr model. What would you tell somebody that's, you know, that's maybe flipping houses, they're doing some wholesale deals here and there, but they want to, they want to do Burr because now that they're hearing enough about it, it makes a lot of sense. What advice would you give somebody? I have great advice and it's not going to be the, the advice that uh, you see on, you know, from, uh, from the motivational speakers or anything like that. But the real down to earth advice is if, you know, you're a professional, you have a career already, maybe you have a job, you've been there for several years, you have a W-2 income, don't, a lot of people can, and you see this on social media and everything, they post on there, they're like, I quit my job today, I'm gonna be an entrepreneur, right? Hundreds and thousands of people like that, right? Okay, as soon as somebody, and it sounds great, I'm gonna be this entrepreneur, I wanna light this fire underneath me, well, guess what? As soon as you walk away from a W-2 job, you lose all of your ability for the bank money. You lose all your ability to borrow the yep. cheapest capital on the street, that long-term money for the Burr strategy. People yep. quit their job to do real estate, but you shot yourself in the foot by quitting. So if what I would suggest is slow your roll, slow down, and focus on doing one, two, five deals a year, maybe, yep. uh, and make it your side hustle and keep that W-2 income because it's going to help you get bank loans and get much better terms on loans. 
Yep. So don't quit your day job. I'm a huge fan of real estate, as you know, um, but you know you want to maximize every tool available, and uh, that's my suggestion. Yep. If somebody's working a full time job, use that job for bank money for real estate. Great advice. Yeah, you want to be bankable if you're going to do burn to be bankable, unless you've got two years of you know self employed business and tax returns exactly. under your belt, which most people don't. Yeah, you're exactly right. Yeah, you need that don't quit your job because now you're waiting two years. You could have just stayed at the job and, and that's get, right. get the money now. You just set that's yourself right. back at least two years. Yeah, yeah. Great advice. Dave, this was a, the quintessential burr too, man. I, I love the fact that you're implementing this like as a regular part of your business strategy right now. It's fantastic. For sure. Hey, thanks yeah. so much for coming on, man. Great talking with you. Thank you, Ken. All right, take care, buddy. Thanks for listening to the Best Deal Ever Show brought to you by Bigger Pockets. If you've been energized, entertained, or enlightened by today's show, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ken Corsini or check us out online at redbarnhomes.com. And don't forget, one man's best deal ever may be the inspiration you need to create your next best deal. So hope to see you on the next episode.